Welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make these yummy loaded oatmeal breakfast cookies. Now the cookie itself is a little lighter than a classic oatmeal cookie, but then I load them up with all the ingredients you might stir into a bowl of oatmeal at breakfast time. With walnuts, raisins, cranberries, and apricots, there's something for everyone. Oh, and just for the kids, I've thrown in a few chocolate chips to keep the cookies from sounding too healthy. All right, now to make these, we'll need three quarters of a cup of softened butter. That's one and a half sticks. One cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla. One and one quarter cups of gluten-free bisquick. Now, if you're not on a gluten-free diet, you can use one and one-fourth cups of all-purpose flour, plus one teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of salt. We'll also need one teaspoon of cinnamon, three cups of rolled oats, make sure they're certified gluten-free, one cup of chopped walnuts, one half cup of chocolate chips, one third of a cup of dried cranberries, one third of a cup of raisins, and one third of a cup of dried apricots. Now you'll want to chop the apricots to about the same size as the other fruits. I like to use the scissors to do the job. All right, now to make the cookies, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Now either using a mixer or beating it by hand, you'll want to cream together the butter and sugar. Next, add the eggs and vanilla and beat well. Add the gluten-free bisquick and cinnamon and continue to mix. Stir in the oats, walnuts, chocolate chips, cranberries, raisins, and apricots, basically all the rest of the ingredients. Then mix well until everything is evenly distributed in the cookie dough. Now if you want to, you can work straight from the mixing bowl. Or you can empty the dough into another bowl while you clean up. Now to bake the cookies, drop the dough by rounded tablespoonfuls onto an ungreased cookie sheet. Now the dough isn't sticky at all, so if you'd like neater cookies, you could always roll them like you would a meatball, then flatten them slightly. Now bake them for 12 to 14 minutes, then cool them on a wire rack or on some paper towels like I did, and then they're ready to eat. Now these soft, chewy cookies with all their added stirrings are just incredible, whether you're on a gluten-free diet or not. And they can also be made into bar cookies by simply pressing the dough into a 13 by 9 inch pan and then baking it for 35 minutes. So I really hope you guys will give this one a try and let me know how you made out. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free, healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at FaveDiets.com. See you again soon.